Hello and welcome, my name is Ian and today we're looking at what happens when you have an image that is so bad that you need to do something to save it. In this case, this image of a bar, not too far from where I live, was captured on a Ricoh GR3, but unfortunately it was so dark in here that the ISO is 25,600. And we can see this because if you look at the look at the grain in the image, this is like almost totally unusable, right? It's very, very bad. So what happens if you need to rescue an image like this? We can try within Lightroom first to get somewhere. Let's have a look by going to the details tab and noise reduction. If I zoom in a bit, let's choose an area. Let's choose, let's choose right about here. And let's see what we can do as, with the built-in Lightroom tools. So let's drop the sharpening down to zero. And let's start removing the, the noise. Okay, we're getting somewhere, right? But that's very high. That's like 80. Okay, let's see if we can bring some more detail back. Don't want to go too crazy there. Okay, let's leave it also around 85 and contrast. Can we? Okay. I think I'm just going to leave it right about there. So let's go back out, look before and after. Before, after, before, after. Let's look over here. Before, after before after okay so it's done an okay job it's not really what we want I think we can do better than this let me make a virtual copy of this and go back to the first one now I'm going to reset this back to uh, normal okay so reset the parameters back so this is literally as it came off the off the camera everything's on zero so now I'm going to go to detail. I'm going to drop the sharpening down. Okay. And I'm going to open it in an external program. Let me show you. So file, plugin extras, transfer to DXO Photo Lab 5. From the start, we can see that the image is really not so great. I think I can improve it. Let's just go back out to 100%. I want to try to make it a bit brighter. A bit more. Does that help? Not really. Okay. Um, and the midtones. Let's see if I can bring some more midtones up. Okay, right, next tab, color. I think I'm going to leave the color as shot. Don't see any point in changing it. Next one, this is the denoising technology. This is the money shot. This is, this is what this program is fantastic for. So let me go to, not high quality, not prime, but deep prime. Click on deep prime. And um, you don't see any change here because it's, typically only in this magnifier tool. So let's go back to a similar area there. Click there. And we're looking in this area here to see what this is actually doing. Let's increase the effect. There we go. So I think you'll, you'll agree that looks a lot better in there than it did using Lightroom alone. Okay. Then sharpness is on. Let's try a little bit higher then sharpness. Okay. There you go. Chromatic aberration is okay. Do we have purple fringing? Oh yeah, we have a little bit there. A little bit there. Okay, let's close this. Purple fringing. Turn that on. Okay, I think it's time to export this back to 
Lightroom. Okay. And down here we have a progress bar. This can take some considerable time. This is back inside of Lightroom now. So this is the image that was exported from DxO. Um, let's have a look. Zoom in a bit closer. Okay. Right. Okay. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's compare them. So let's compare this one to the original. Uh, to to the original one. So. Let's see. Okay. Zoom in. So the original one is on the left, and the DxO one is on the right. I think you'll agree there's a massive massive difference there between the two. Let's look at some other areas. Yeah. Absolutely massive differences. There's no detail at all here and the same it's much 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 better. Okay, let's just take it one step further. Let's just compare that one to the one with the Lightroom noise reductions. Okay. So we have the XO on the left, Lightroom on the right. Wow. Yeah, there's, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, this is a, an image shot at extremely high ISO for the camera. So, I, you can't really expect miracles from it. Let's see if I can improve it using another program. Edit inside of. Talk about Sharpen AI. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's try out of focus, very noisy. I think I'm going to apply that one. Apply and it'll produce the TIFF image and then it goes back to Lightroom. Just like that. Let's have a look. So this one, this is the final TIFF. This is the original compared to the original. Okay. Zoom in. Wow. I mean, the image on the left is, is, is kind of usable, isn't it? That's quite, as long as you don't zoom in massively close and pixel peep it, I think it's okay. It's possible that I can still improve this. Let's have a go. So now, just select this TIFF. Go into the develop module. And remember, this is set to flat at the moment. There's no, there's no changes. So just click on auto, see if I can improve it. Let's cool it down a touch. Okay. Pull it down just a touch like that. I think that's better. Recover some highlights. Maybe. Let's use the white hiders. Yeah, it's okay to have those lights. And then how about the blacks? Yeah, okay. Don't like this red tint. Let's see if I can shift that a little bit more towards warm. Yeah, okay. Let's look before and after. Before, after. Before, after. Okay. Let's add a bit of uh, texture. Add a bit of clarity. Bit of texture, a bit of clarity. Too much.
before, after, before, after. Okay. Let's go to detail. Let's add some sharpening back in from Lightroom now. A little bit more noise reduction. See what we've got. Okay. I like that. Let's go back to the compare module. So this is compared to the original. Wow. Look at the area here. Look at the area here. You know, it's never going to be perfect, but the difference is night and day, really is. Let's go to the, this was with Lightroom only. Yeah. Again, look, look, on, look on this shelf here to see. Such a massive, massive difference. I say hopefully you're not going to shoot images at such massive ISOs, but should it happen to you and you need to try to save an image, then you can. Let's just make an, a final tweak to this. Pull the attention in to the center. I don't want to have people looking so much down here in the corners. There we go. And guys, I think at this point, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you've got anything from this video, please consider subscribing and like this video and see you again. Bye bye.